Gliding along the Mobile Tensaw Delta is one of the fringe benefits that goes along with having your own ecotourism business. There's over 250,000 acres of, uh, of wilderness that are out there. Uh, it's second only to the Mississippi Delta, and the Mississippi Delta gets a lot of play. Five Rivers Delta Safaris recently got a nod in National Geographic Adventure magazine. The article named Mobile as one of the next 50 great adventure towns. We've already been getting a lot of calls. Uh, I think it's been a, it's been a very positive experience. Uh, a lot of people have, have read the article. There's obviously been a lot of promotion in Mobile. Australian co-owner Christian Abood says the Delta is an untapped resource that more people need to experience. He says it's this eco-landscape that lured him here. Originally they say, do you work for Austal? And then they say, you're not from around here. And I tell them I'm from the deep south. And uh, <laughs> then they get a little confused and then they realize I'm Australian. The hovercraft is one of their newest touring options. The small speedster flies over land and water on a cushion of air. This boat can only carry about 1,200 pounds with two or three people on board, and they need very calm waters to surf some of the Delta's lesser known sites. And get into some of the harder reach places, and that's when you really realize just how magnificent it is. Co-owner and Captain Michael Dory says Mobile is fortunate to have such a vast area of wetlands close to home. When people in Mobile, I think sometimes when they think water, they think uh, Dawson Island or maybe Gulf Shores, and that's where they go to enjoy the water when we've got hundreds of miles of rivers and waterways right here 